Today I wanted to talk a little bit about some chord changes. Throughout all my years of teaching, I have found that one of the most difficult things aside from strumming or figuring out strumming patterns is chord changes. So here is a guaranteed formula for how to develop your chord changes. So one of the first songs that I always show people is a Green Day song um, called Time of Your Life or Good Riddance. Reason being is because I've come across people that have gotten the chord changed or the chord is down, but the changes are the difficult thing. Now in this song, you go straight from a G chord to what's called a C add nine. So with this G chord, you have your second finger on the sixth string, third fret, first finger on the fifth string, second fret, and then these two fingers buddy up on the bottom strings, third finger on the second string, third fret, and pinky on the first string, third fret. So when you go from this G to the C add nine, all you're doing is dropping those top two fingers down one string. So it's a very minimal change and that can build some confidence in your chord changes right away. So what you want to do is give four soul strums on each chord going like this. One, two, three, four. And then your next chord. One, two, three, four. And then the next chord that's in that opening line or the verse is a D chord. So you can find all these chords on the internet, the shapes and stuff like that. Okay, so in the first line of that green day, the G actually goes for two bars. So you want to do eight strums on the G, four on the C add nine, and then four on the D. So eight on the G, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four on the C add nine, one, two, three, four, and then four on the D. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I know sometimes the chords may not come out perfectly clear, but that is okay. The main thing is keeping the momentum, keeping that steady flow. So what you want to do when you're actually trying to make any chord change, you want to think that the right hand is like a machine and it just wants to keep going no matter what, just keeps that strumming pattern and it's the left hand that has to keep up. So again, no matter what the chord sounds like, and it will eventually fix itself. So you want to do eight strums on the G, four strums on the C add nine, and then four on the D by just keeping that right hand going, no matter what, steady, like a machine, like this. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and back to the G. One, And if that tempo is a little too fast, then slow it down a little bit. But that's the key. That's the main important thing is keeping that momentum and keeping that right hand steady. Okay, so that's just one song. Um, another good example is uh, a song called Cruise, which I like to go through with people as well. And that song only has four chords. You got your G, your D, E minor, and your regular C. Okay, so I'm going to go through that one real quick. So again, um, just keeping that right hand steady, you know, and no stopping in the rhythm. So we're going to go, so four on each of these chords. So four in the G, one, two, three, four, four in the D, one, two, three, four in the E minor, one, two, three, four, and then four in the C. Again, just keep it slow and steady and I've gone through this process with hundreds of my students and they all get it eventually okay so you just got to be persistent you just got to keep that right hand going okay so um, if you are having any issues with any chord change you want to take that same uh, approach to doing four slow strums on each chord so say you're having problems going from uh, uh, F to a G Okay, so say you have your F chord. So four slow strums on the F. One, two, three, four, four on the G. And just back and forth. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or if you're having an issue with some of your bar chords. Say you have a C major up here. Okay. 
A and you want an F down here. Same sort of approach. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So just that four slow strum to any combination of chords, keeping that right hand going like it's a machine and you guaranteed you will have your chord changes down. Talk to you soon.